All right, guys, today I want to talk about the scissor sweep. Probably the first sweep that most of us learn when we start jiu-jitsu, probably the most basic of basics. Um, and, and what I want to share with you guys is how I think it should be done. I think a lot of people do it wrong. It's not a go-to move for me, but I do uh, dust it off from time to time, and I almost always get it. Okay, it's not a huge part of my game, but it, it's, a, it's a sweep that I think if people did it correctly and more structurally, there would be a lot higher percentage for them. Because that's one thing that people say is it's, it's a very basic move and it's simple, but it doesn't work at a certain level. And the reason for that, in my opinion, is because people do it wrong. So I'm going to kind of share with you how people do it and how I do it, and you'll see the differences. All right, so, and this applies to no gi, even though we're wearing a gi. So I'm here, closed guard, and the grips are up to you. You can grab double sleeve double wrist, collar and sleeve. The, grip, you know, the grips is kind of up to you. I don't like leaving my feet exposed, so I tend to like grab both wrists. But regardless, you're gonna hip escape out and come here. Now what most people do, and what, what gets them in trouble, is they drop their leg on the ground like they should, and they get this here. Now the problem is with this, Michael drops his leg, and he can, I'm, I'm in trouble here. I can try doing something with this far leg, but he has effectively smashed this to where I can't do anything. Like I'm trying to sweep Michael right now, and he's probably gonna pass if I keep going, and he's gonna get around this. Right, too many people, as soon as you do this, anyone good drops their weight on it, and now you're gonna have a problem, okay? So the way I do it, and the way I, you know, and I used to do it like this too, but I, I, I failed with it so much that I had to adjust. So what I do is when I open up, I come here, and notice how my foot's locked in on his hip, and my shin's across, like one half of an X. Now, Michael, try smashing me. Right, and, and I, it's like I can hold King Kong in my guard right here. Whenever I'm ready, I start extending this and chop the bottom one. And there I go, right? So I'll show it from here. I'll just show it from different angles so you guys can see it. Again, grips are preference. Um, you know, collar, head and arm for no gi or collar and sleeve, whatever you guys want. That's something that's very personal that you gotta experiment with. But regardless, come here. And this is solid, because if he tries to disengage, he can't really go anywhere. If he tries to smash me, he can't, right? If I put my arms behind my head, <coughs> he tries to just smash my leg down to pass. He's gotta work for it. And this is me not even using grips. If I get it down here, he's gonna kill me every time. And that's where I think people go wrong is they turn here, and when guys try to scissor sweep me, <coughs> if I time it right, I just come where Michael is, and I circle to the back, I smash the legs, and I pass. And that's the problem I think a lot of people run into. So you guys just have to adjust how you do it. And I'll, I'll show a different side here. So again, Look at how this is locked in on his hip and this is on his shoulder. So it's going in a diag a line across like that. All right, and then in here, right? I, break, I have excellent control here. And if he wants to stand up, I'll sweep him as he does it, okay? And if Michael wants to disengage, all right? You know, he, he knows what I'm going for, and he wants to disengage. Uh -huh. He just tries to sit back. I'm still gonna get him, and it's because of where I put this shin, all right? So again, this is everything. In my kids class, when I show this to the kids, I'll take like a 50 or 60 pound kid, have him get in this position, and me at 260, I'll get there with my arms behind my head, drop all my weight, and I don't crush the kid. This is how structural this is, okay? And it's good to reinforce this grip, and then here, all right? This is just gonna get you smashed and passed and in a lot of trouble. Come up here, and when you're ready, just start extending it. See, his weight's starting to tip, and then just, hence the name, scissor. Right, I like to I don't like to get leg locked off of it, so I try to control the uh, arms a little bit more than the head, but that's all preference. So you guys can see it's a little adjustment on a basic move that makes all the difference in the world. Okay, this is what we're all taught, and I think it's not necessarily wrong, I think it's ineffective. But coming up here with my entire shin supporting his weight, my foot locked in on his hip, it's kind of locking him in place. And because it's so structural, it's very strong. And that's gonna change how you play guard. You know, I'm 260, I've done this to guys that are 300, 350 pounds that come into training. And if I can't sweep them, but they, they don't pass, right? So just having that kind of shin across like that is gonna skyrocket your success with the scissor sweep and make your guard a lot more difficult to pass.